Good afternoon, Ms. Nina. Today, I will be tackling about the nuclear model or also the gold foil experiment. And this was done by Ernest Rutherford in 1911. And the little summary about this is that Rutherford fired positively charged alpha particles at a thin sheet of gold foil. So most passed through with little deflection, but some deflected at larger angles and when this happened it was only possible if the atom was mostly empty space with the positive charge concentrated in the center of the nucleus so first i am going to show you the materials that i will be using i will be using this area as the circular background so that when the ball goes back to us it can bounce back and I will be using this cardboard as our gold foil. It's not gold though, but it will do. And also, I will be using a jug just to stabilize the gold foil experiment. So it would go like that. And when that happens, I will be using ping pong balls as the ones that I will use. The ping pong balls will serve as the particles that the alpha ray has shot in. And also, I will be using a flashlight. Okay, so we are ready for this experiment. I'll just move this a little here. There we go. Okay, so this gold foil actually can be considered as the um, the atoms the tiny atoms that are making this up or this cardboard and when this cardboard is made out of atoms we will be then seeing later on the how rutherford actually discovered the nucleus there we go okay so they started out with a piece of gold foil just like what i said and they took this piece of gold foil and they shot tiny particles and what they shot were actually alpha particles which are these ping pong balls these are actually positive and um just imagine they are smaller than the atom itself and so they now want to know what happens after they hit the gold foil so later on you will be seeing a flash or a light flash and I will be turning that on every time it doesn't hit the atom particle so if it it's here I'm going to be flashing the light or there or when it bounces back to us okay so they take this material which flashes when the small particles hit it and they bend it around they take this gold foil in the middle of this material and so now they shoot alpha materials and they flash so that they know where it hit. And sometimes they see flashes behind the gold foil and this it would, would indicate that the alpha particles are going right through the atoms of the gold foil. Okay, so let's try it. So just imagine that that ball went through this cardboard and it went in the other side so just for example it will go like that they will shoot our alpha particles and it would go through this gold foil but there is no hole right now but just imagine that this ball will go through and it will touch this area and when it touches that area the ball will actually flash so it would go like that so now they know that it hit the back part of the gold foil experiment. And when that hit the gold foil, they were realizing that this small particle or the alpha ray particle, as we all know, it went through this gold foil experiment. And that's what they knew. But then later on, they saw that these gold particles, these um, alpha ray particles actually they are ricocheting back to them or it bounces back to them so it either goes here and it bounces here and when the and when it shoots it goes it goes veering off the side meaning it goes like that something like that and then when that also happens 
it determines that the alpha ray particles are actually hitting hard something in that gold foil so for example it does like this it bounces back that means there is something hard between this gold foil experiment and when that happens they thought what could this be but then when it was veering off the side so something like this like that there we go the, it goes veering off the side it means that the hard part is actually not attracted to the charge of this ball so the nucleus here uh, we all know that that part is actually the nucleus the hard part and that one actually is the nucleus and this one is positive charge so we all know that the charges with the same positive charge or like negative charge and the negative charge or positive charge and then positive charge it means that they are not attracted to each other we all know that they are attracted to the opposite charges that's why it goes peering off the side like that and when that happens they wanted to know what could be the dense or the hard part in the middle and that was we all know it's the nucleus So I just want to show you guys how it would look like if it goes peering off the side and they saw a flash. So for example, it flashes like that. So they know where it actually hit. Again. There we go. And sometimes they also notice that the alpha particles, they ricochet back. So it goes like this, it goes back. It goes back to them or it actually veers off the side like that that's what i said earlier because this positive particle this alpha ray particle is actually positive and the nucleus is also positive but at the same time we will know later that it is consisted of protons and neutrons and when also that happens they do not attract the same thing because they are the same charges okay so when we are going to look through this gold foil deeper we see that this actually this gold foil is considered of atoms and they are placed like this so if you look at the top of this cardboard and the positioning of the atoms looks like this so when that happens we actually see the atoms these are the atoms the circular parts and when that happens there is a hard or the nucleus basically it is inside of the particle so when that happens the arrow this determines the direction of the ball or at this um, alpha ray particle so this determines the direction of where the ball goes after and some balls they go through there they go just like just like what i said earlier they go through the gold foil experiment because there are actually empty spaces in between those um atoms so that is where the alpha ray particle goes through and here we can see that it actually goes in the other side this is the left side and the right side but just like what i said earlier that these um, alpha ray particles they bounce back or they ricochet or they go off to the side and this is because of the hard nucleus or this dense nucleus a positive charged nucleus and it got hit by this alpha ray particle which is actually positive as well and it hits it and it goes back because these particles they are not attracted with each other and they are also um they are the same charge so when that happens it goes back because it's not the same it's a, not it's a same charge but if this is negative it will actually it will actually be balanced so to going into further detail we see this model so before we saw that the plum pudding model had positive charges everywhere like these white spots 
they are the positive charge in the plum pudding model. But in Rutherford's model, it is now emphasized that the nucleus, this purple part, the particle in the middle of the atom, this is actually the positive charge which keeps this electrons, this tiny negatively charged particles, they are what floats around it and it keeps them balanced basically. But just a reminder, these electrons, they are not held in a certain place because of the positively charged particles so they actually keep on floating around moving around that you can't even see them properly or where their actual place is at so as the scientists actually discovered this part Rutherford they go deeper through it and this part is actually another version of the model it is a better version of the plum pudding model which was made by another scientist so Rutherford said that the electrons keep on floating around really vigorously around the nucleus and when this happens there's actually the electron there's this is the electron 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 and this is actually the nucleus so the nucleus is pretty a, um, a hard dense positively charged ball of a blob a ball basically but then later on they saw that the nucleus was just not like it's just not nucleus there's actually more to it and when that happens it's actually made out of protons which are very much positively charged particles so we got the nucleus of protons and we got the electrons spinning around like crazy actually they do not spin around circularly but they're more of kind of a buzzy type of um, particles like they go zzz, like something like that they do not go on a certain path and they do not repeat that path all the time but they just really go around so we all know this is not yet the most accurate model that um, we have discovered for the atomic structure and but this is actually a very much more of a similar way but just the electrons in a certain path or they just keep on repeating a certain way they just go around in one place and in one place but later on in the next discoveries it is actually not correct but the electrons actually go in different places that we can't even tell where that actual place is and they go just like what i said they just go like crazy and they go buzzy sound and like they just really go crazy so a little more information or background about this is that Rutherford actually thought that the um, in the plum pudding model actually there's positively charged think of a muffin and the muffin with blueberries the blueberries are the electrons which they are actually the negatively charged particles and the muffin actually it's the positive dough it's consider it a dough and then it's all positive which makes it balanced but then Rutherford thought that with the alpha ray particles this particles it's like kind of a ball a bullet let's say a bullet and then a and then the electrons they are very very small let's think of a almond an almond piece that's how small it is so he thought if they shoot alpha ray particles straight through the this particle this um gold foil they thought that it would really go through this cardboard or the gold foil as we all know it will really go through but no it did not actually it did bounce back right and they thought that it will go through it because the electrons are very very small and um they are very light so the um, gold foil was actually very light so they thought that this alpha ray particle with its really high rate of speed it will just pierce right through the gold foil but it did not it is because again of this really concentrated hard dense nucleus which we will later on know in the other experiments that it is not only consisted of protons but also neutrons 
and that is what makes this up. This nucleus is a very hard dense protons, positively charged and neutrally charged as well. And just a um, really, really important reminder, earlier we said that this cardboard or this gold foil experiment it consisted of atomic um, particles and the remember the three six balls that i drew earlier in this side it's this one just a discrimination that this the atomic particle doesn't actually have a shell it's not there's no shell this just reminds us the outer limits or the boundary of the electrons that really goes um, hyperactive kind of particles in the in the outside of the nucleus or the electron cloud and um, it doesn't go further away but this is this circle or shell is actually just the boundary but we all know that there's no shell this is just a reminder of, of how far it goes how far the electron goes so that is it for my presentation of the Rutherford gold experiment, gold foil experiment, and the discovery of the nuclear atom. Thank you for listening.